Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever KD Plays Planet Coaster. I am so excited for this series. I've been playing Planet Coaster now for a number of years. In fact, I think I played it on the first day it came out because it was on my birthday. Um, so that was a few years ago. And ever since then, I've been playing Planet Coaster. Uh, I used to play it a lot more than I have recently, uh, but that's mainly because of my graphics card. Now, Planet Coaster, it requires a really good PC to play it, just due to the, uh, the intense graphics. Um, you also need a really good processor as well. Um, so I have been able to play it since the game came out a few years ago, but I've not been able to play it very well. Uh, the frame rate over years, it's got worse and worse. Originally, it was uh, it was okay. It was I, I was able to play it with the graphics card I had. But eventually, as more of the DLC packs came out, uh, it, it became unplayable basically. So I, I couldn't play the game anymore. Uh, and that's been for about a year now. If you play the game yourself, um, there was a Ghostbusters DLC that came out uh, not too long ago. And ever since I downloaded that DLC, it's, it's basically been unplayable. So I've not been able to play this game for quite a while now, uh, but I was ready to get back into it. And as soon as everybody's been indoors, uh, I wasn't actually going to start this series until later on this year when the UK parks close um, for, for winter. So I was going to do it then, but because everyone's indoors at the moment and we can't get out to the theme parks, I thought now is probably a better time than ever to start this series. So here we are doing a Planet Coaster series and I bought a brand new graphics card just so I could do this. Um, so I bought a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. Um, it's not the best, it's definitely better than what it was before, but it, it can play the game. So what this series is, it's basically going to be like a, a tester for future series to come. Um, so I'm going to be building a full theme park. Um, as you can see, I've started building this already and I'll move on to what I'm doing at the moment uh, in just a sec. But I'm going to be building a full theme park. It's going to have four different, and wait no, three uh, different theme lands and also like an entrance plaza. And as you're seeing here, I am build, currently building a car park. Uh, this took a lot longer than I anticipated. I've never built a car park before in Planet Coaster. Uh, when I do play the game or when I used to play the game, uh, I used to just obviously build um, the rides, the, the coasters. Uh, I used to enjoy building a lot of dark rides as well. But I've never built um, a car park in it before. But all the tools are there for you to build one. I've seen lots of tutorials on YouTube, other people that have made car parks, so I thought I might as well add one in for the first time. And to be honest, like you'll see at the end of it, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, if you think I've done a good job, let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. And today we're going to show you how I ended up building it. So as you can see, I'm currently putting the lines in on the floor. And this was uh, done by using uh, white walls uh, and then lowering them below the surface. So it, it looks like just lines that are kind of like painted on. As you can see, they are a little bit raised up. This was mainly due to the terrain level. Um, but in the end, I, I thought it looked quite good, uh, with them being raised up a little bit. You'll also see as this episode goes on, uh, in fact the whole series goes on, that I always change things up. So I'll build things and then I'll look at it again, I'll come back to it and I'll be like, that doesn't look that great. So then I'll end up deleting it and redoing it again. Um, and you'll see in this episode I do that a couple times. Uh, in fact, this video, it's, it's edited. Um, but what you haven't seen already is I actually did a completely different design of the car park. Um, so that's already been a change and I've barely even got started into the game. Um, so you'll see I, I do change things up a lot. So now I'm just adding in the different cars. So you don't have a, a massive variety of different cars in, in the game. I mean you've got like police cars and, and buses and taxis. But obviously you're rarely going to see a police car in a, a theme park car park. So I couldn't really add the police car in there. So what I've done is I've taken the basically the same car. Uh, I also put the taxi in there as well, but I just changed the colours up to make it look like a normal car. Um, and yeah, I've just changed the colours on the different cars just to make them look a little bit different. Uh, I also did try to add a bus in there as well, but obviously, as you can see, uh, the spaces aren't massive, so I couldn't fit a bus in there. <laughs> uh, so now I'm just moving on to 
painting the um, the floor to make it look a bit more like a road so you're not just driving on grass so I put some tarmac looking uh, paint on there for cars in this game as well the guests can't actually drive them uh, they are just there for show um, so you won't see any cars moving around this car park but what you will see in a few minutes is that I do put in uh, a kind of like car park transportation bit to get to the front entrance so something like you kind of see at Disney World how you have that um, that transportation thing that takes you from the car park to the front entrance of the park uh, I do add that in there it's not a massive car park here obviously um, but I just thought I'd add that in there so now I'm just smoothing out the edges uh, where the tarmac paint has gone into the grass uh, so this is where I'm going to be putting different plants and trees uh, so I'm putting the grass back over there just to make it look a lot more nice and neat You'll also see there as well that I've put um, some walls um, in that section of the car park, uh, but then you'll see them disappear again. That's because I was going to originally do a, uh, an indoor section of the car park, but then I thought, you rarely see that at theme parks, so I took it off. Um, and then I started putting the hedges around this edge. Uh, and then in a few moments, you'll see that I start putting in some different trees uh, and plants. If you've played this game, you'll know it takes uh, a lot of accuracy. I mean, it, it takes a lot of uh, work to make everything look really nice uh, and look proper realistic. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm moving those hedges to try and line them up perfectly. As you can probably see, I was having a little bit of a hard job. Um, but in the end, it is worth it because it looks really good. As I said earlier, I've never built a car park in Planet Coaster before. Um, I've seen people do it on tutorials on YouTube, uh, but I've, I've never just got around to making one myself. And I think it looks really good. It really adds to the realism of the park, uh, which is what you really want. Luckily, you do have that duplicate feature on Planet Coaster as well, so you don't have to place like each individual hedge. Um, you can just copy and paste them. And you can also do something called uh, an advanced move or an advanced duplicate so once you've done like a full line of uh, hedges or something you can just move it uh, horizontally across um, just to match the opposite side perfectly So let's move on to talking a bit more about what this theme park is going to be. As I said, it is mainly going to be a test to see what my graphics card can handle and what my PC can handle, because previously it's not been able to handle much at all, especially when you start letting those guests in. No matter how good your graphics card is, as soon as the guests start coming into the park, the, uh, the frame rate goes down dramatically. Um, so I definitely won't be letting guests in until the theme park is complete. Uh, but I would just want to see what my PC can handle without having guests in there. So it's not a massive park. Um, I showed it earlier, the full size of the park. It's kind of like a square. Uh, you'll see those borders around the outside, like little white, those little white lines. Um, so that's the borders and it's not a massive park. So what I'm going to be doing is putting in three themed areas. And these are gonna be uh, a pirate themed area. We're gonna have a spooky themed area and we're also going to have a sci-fi themed area. So I've got a few ideas of what I want to do for those areas, um, but they're not confirmed yet. I have started working on the pirate area at the time of recording uh, this voiceover for this video, uh, but it's only just been started. So if you've got any ideas you want for the pirate area or the spooky area, or, or even the sci-fi area, let me know, because I, uh, I want this to be our park. And it's gonna look really good in the end, so I want to have all your ideas and let me know what you want to see. In the next episode, I'll be building that entrance plaza, uh, which I have already done and it looks really good. So I'm really excited for you to see that.
at the moment I'm currently building that transportation system for the car park. So this will take you from one end of the car park which I end up calling uh, Car Park B over to the, the entrance of the park um, just to save you from walking. As I said it's not that far at all but if you're feeling extra lazy then you can uh, just take this little transport system. So the system that I've used for the transportation system in the car park, it's actually a uh, like a tour bus that you'd find at a studio's park. It's the best I could find really. Um, there's no point in putting in a monorail or anything like that because it's not a massive car park. So I thought this would probably be the best system for this. I do make it a little bit more exciting in a minute where I raise the terrain uh, so it goes through like a, a little mountain type thing. Uh, it just adds to it really. As you can see, I'm just raising the terrain up here now just to make it a little bit more interesting on that, uh, that journey from one end of the car park to the other. Um, also, it, uh, it stops the, uh, the theme park being able to see into the car park. It also means that when you're having a ride on this car park transportation system, you can't see the other ones going past. But as I said, it is mainly so that if you're in the car park, you can't see into the actual park and if you're in the theme park you can't see into the car park to ruin that experience. So as you can see it's coming on quite nicely now, adding in those different trees uh, it's making it look a bit more full. So I'm not too sure how many episodes are going to be in this series. It all depends really on just how how long it's going to take. Like uh, it, I didn't realise how long it would take me just to build the car park. Like I thought it was just going to take, uh, I don't know, half an episode just to, to do the car park and then I'd start working on that entrance plaza. Um, but it ended up taking up a full episode and I've cut a lot of it out as well. So there is a lot more that went on here. Uh, but I didn't want to make it too boring. I've sped it up quite a bit as well, um, just so you don't get too bored, because it is mainly just me putting in different plants and there's little bits of scenery here. Um, but as I said, it is our park. We're going to be building it together. I want to know um, what you want to see. Uh, but along with that, I want to know how you want me to edit these videos as well. So I've sped the video up and I'm just going to be doing like commentary over the top, tell you what I'm doing and what I have planned for the future and all other stuff to do with theme parks and Planet Coaster uh, we can talk about on here. Um, but let me know what you want to see. Along with changing my graphics card, it's something that I need to look into as well is my actual editing software because when you export a video, it does take some of that quality out of it. So on my PC, what I can see when I'm playing a game, it's a lot better quality than what you'll be seeing right now. Uh, so what I need to look at is a better way of exporting my videos and getting that quality looking as good as it can be. Because one of the main issues is that once I have recorded the footage, I then have to edit it um, to what you can see now and speed it all up. But then I have to do the voiceover over, over the top of it as well. So that means I have to export it twice, which really does take some of that quality out. Um, so as I said, you are going to see the quality a little bit less than what I can see. Um, so I need to look into ways into fixing that and making it look as good as it can be. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I read them all uh, on YouTube and all on Instagram and all the other social medias as well. Uh, so yeah, let me know. So as you can see now I've started putting in a lot more of the scenery like the, uh, the plants and the trees and I've also adding these road signs in as well. Uh, I've also included like a speed limit, um, so just little things that you would find in a, a normal car park. Um, so obviously I've kept the other speed limit down to 5 miles per hour in this car park. I've blocked a few spaces off with those traffic cones and I'm just getting those little direction signs in as well.
So I thought I was about done with the car park, but then I thought about adding in a, a ticket booth. So you find a lot of these ticket booths across the world at different theme parks. Um, just for some, for example, like Disney World and Universal Studios, um, you have to pay for your tickets before you go into the car park. Um, so here I started building that ticket booth, uh, so the drivers would have to go either to their left or the right uh, before they can enter that car park. As I said earlier, this isn't an actual operating car park or anything like that. Uh, there'll be no one in here asking the guests tickets. Um, but I just, it's just there for the scenery, just to make the park look a little bit more realistic. So with Planet Coaster you have a bunch of different scenery, you have loads of obviously different shops and rides and attractions, um, but there's some bits of scenery that uh, aren't included in a game that you might want to incorporate in your park. Um, for example, what I'm doing here is I'm making my own barrier for the ticket booth. So when, you're, when you drive up to the ticket booth, you normally have that barrier in front of you uh, which lifts up once you've paid for your ticket. Obviously this won't be in the game, uh, but it was very easy to make. I just got uh, a few different little shapes uh, and I, I don't know what it was. It was like a bit of fencing or something uh, that I put on uh, as the barrier itself. And I think it looked uh, pretty good. And I added on a little light as well on top of there just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And finally I added in the lighting to the car park so you've got those street lights there just to make it uh, light up a little bit more in the dark. Nothing too extreme, there's not uh, intense lighting here, it's just a load of different little street lights. I also added in some lights to uh, make those signs light up as well just so the drivers can see them in the dark. So there we have it, that's the car park complete, but before we end this video let's just take a quick ride on that car park transportation system. So there we have it, thank you so much for watching the first episode of my Planet Coaster series building this theme park. I'm super excited to start building more to this park and start building lots of rides. As I said, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see in this park and what to include. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.